I grew up in this small Midwestern town, and my grandmother worked at Montgomery Wards, so she agreed to buy me a chemistry set. I spent all my time doing all these really neat experiments. I would make perfume soap, but I'd have things that would start bubbling. It really got me interested in what the world around me was made of. When I was a postdoc, uh, I decided to find this key gene to allow you to do gene editing. But it turned out to be the wrong gene. And I was really depressed about that, and I just wanted to throw it away. But it turned out that I found one thing interesting about this gene was that it actually became activated in response to DNA damage. The simplest way to understand this is to think about how the cell is really like a city because there is this sort of inner organization of a cell, it's just like a city. The instructions for building a city are the blueprints and the blueprints for a cell are the DNA. So any mistake in the blueprints and that city and all the other cities that are built are gonna have that mistake. And that can lead to all kinds of problems. So we found these sentinel proteins that are scouring the genome and when they find a problem, they basically set up a solid state signaling machine. It's like a radio station and sort of recruits in the ambulance and the fire department and all this emergency response to fix the problem. And that's what we call the DNA damage response knowing that these particular pathways are deranged in certain diseases, such as neurodegeneration, we can use that information to potentially build therapies. Likewise, in cancer cells, depend on this pathway to live. And if you can sort of tune down the pathway, you can start to kill the cancer cells, which I think would be a very exciting development. I really love the work that we're doing. It's like having my own personal chemistry set to do all these neat experiments. I love it.